Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, firstly, let's talk about Meghan's undeniable penchant for the limelight. It seems like no opportunity to bask in the glow of public attention goes unnoticed by the Duchess of Sussex. From her Hollywood pursuits to her hosting of special screenings and moderated talkbacks, Meghan's hunger for the spotlight knows no bounds. But what happens when this desire clashes with the aspirations of someone she considers a friend, like Miss and Harriman? Harriman, a Nigeria-born filmmaker photographer, is making waves with his directorial debut, The After, a Netflix short film that explores profound grief. Amidst his rising fame and an Academy Award nomination, it appears Meghan Markle wants a piece of the action. Reports suggest that Meghan, who hosted a special screening of Harriman's film, now demands to share the spotlight with him in his upcoming projects. But Harriman seems to be drawing the line, expressing his frustration and refusal to be Meghan's puppet. In a shocking twist, Harriman, in a recent interview, reveals that Meghan is like a sister to him. While this may sound endearing on the surface, it raises eyebrows when considering the dynamics of their relationship. Harriman describes Meghan's impeccable taste and her ability to seek depth and meaning in her engagements. But is this friendship based on mutual respect and genuine connection? Or is Meghan strategically positioning herself to benefit from Harriman's rising fame? The controversy deepens with Meghan's surprise video appearance to introduce Harriman before his TD talk last year. It seems that Meghan is determined to associate herself closely with Harriman's success raising questions about her intentions and whether her influence is extending beyond the bounds of genuine friendship. Harriman acknowledges that Meghan has recognized his work, expressing his pride and thankfulness. However, he hints at a sense of desperation on Meghan's part to cling to anything royal amidst a decline in popularity. This raises the crucial question. Is Meghan using Harriman as a pawn in her larger game against the royal family, or is their friendship genuine? As we scrutinize the unfolding drama, it's essential to recognize Harriman's role as Meghan and Harry's go-to portrait taker. His involvement in capturing pivotal moments for the couple, combined with his appearance in the Harry and Meghan docuseries, raises concerns about the extent of his puppetry. Is Harriman merely a friend and collaborator, or is he succumbing to Meghan's influence in a bid to secure his standing in the royal adjacent circles? In conclusion, the Meghan Mizzen saga reveals a complex interplay of ambition, influence, and questionable friendships. Meghan's unrelenting quest for the spotlight, even at the expense of her friendships, is a cause for concern. Harriman's reluctance to be her puppet and his expressed frustration underscore the delicate dance between personal and professional boundaries. As the controversy continues to unfold, the world watches with bated breath to understand the true dynamics at play between Meghan Markle and Mizzen Harriman. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.